Think about the cars that have power open doors. We've got minivans and Rolls Royces. Sometimes when I'm sitting in the second row seat with these VIP lounge seats, it feels like it might as well be a Rolls Royce. Just look at that. We are going to be spending a week with the 2022 Kia Carnival, which is like a minivan, but not a minivan. Kia calls it an MPV, a multi-purpose vehicle, but effectively it's like a cool minivan, which is something that I never thought I would say. We'll be seeing what it's like to live with. Kia provided me with the vehicle for this week to drive and review, and they are compensating me for my time spent on this video. The first thing you'll immediately notice about the Carnival is the styling, and it looks properly rugged, aggressive, not at all conventional minivan-like. You'll note the brand new Kia logo up front. That is the new Kia logo. See, K-I-A. Very different from the previous one. Really sharp, kind of angular design on the daytime running lights and the headlights. And immense practicality inside. I'm gonna give you a quick teaser of something that I'm really excited about with the Carnival. Look at this second row seat. I have it reclined. Yeah, more on that later. These two big landscape screens really remind me of another uh, high-end German luxury automaker with how they do their screens. They're really nice. On the center one, you see we've got Apple CarPlay pulled up. Uh, it also supports Android Auto. We've got Spotify and look, there's my uh, my podcast. Uh, coming down, we've got this really cool textured plastic trim that runs across the entire dashboard. It's echoed on the outside on the, the ABCD pillar. There's a lot of pillars on this car. We'll take a look at it when we go outside. Below that, we have climate control, but I have a complaint here. Uh, these buttons are touch sensitive, but there's no feedback. There's no vibration. There's no click. There's nothing. So you're not always sure if you actually hit them or not. Um, not a huge fan of that. There's no feedback there. But then continuing further down, we've got our charging ports, our USB ports. This vehicle is equipped with wireless charging too. So you can wireless charge your supported phone. Coming down, you see I've got my phone plugged in for Apple CarPlay. And then we have auto hold and drive modes. Auto hold, when you come to a stop, uh, you can take your foot off the brake and it would automatically hold the brake for you when you have that button enabled. Heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, parking sensors, 360 view cameras, and heated and cooled passenger seat. The 360 view camera is really nice. Overhead view here, that is always fantastic. With that, let's go inside. I've got a meeting to get to. We'll pick this up later. We're heading downtown Chicago for dinner. So we took the Kia downtown last night for dinner. Didn't film anything, but it was pretty good. It handled the traffic nicely. Matt is here visiting in the midst of a 6,000 mile road trip in his GT350R. And uh, we are, I'm introducing him to the Kia Carnival, which is going to be a lot more comfortable than your Shelby. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. First impressions, go. Very nice interior. Yes. I like the, I mean. It plays welcome music. That's the new key logo, yeah. I noticed the Bose stereo system. Yes, the top tier, this the SX Prestige gets a, a Bose sound system. It looks like higher quality material, which yes. looks good. Soft touch on the top here. And like the tannish color. You should actually sit- It, it almost the... is like salmon, almost to me. Really? Color? It looks more saddled to me. It might be it's saddled, darker. but I, I Are see- Are you slightly this... colorblind? It might be. I Maybe, it's possible. A, B, that's, that's B C. C, so the D pillars then, yeah. That trim on the dashboard is echoed here with this kind of textured hexagonal reflecty pattern. It's really cool. So, like, short of like a S Class or a Sprinter van, this is like the oh, nicest oh, Sekiro experience. And also, yeah, and then the uh, the leg rest comes out too. And we have extending leg rest in the second row of VIP seating. Like, that's uh, that's unbelievable in a minivan. And again, that seat slides inboard and back. So like Matt's pretty tall too. You're like what, six feet? I'm six foot. And he's got legroom with the driver's seat where I need to be sitting. And also from the driver's seat, I can make the passenger seat go forward. So if somebody was in that seat, they need more legroom. Ta-da! Again, that's only something I've seen in like high-end luxury sedans. Like we're talking like executive luxury vehicles. You can also make it angle forward. So yeah. This is super comfy. It's crazy. The other one, the other toggle. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what is that? So you can go all the way back because when you're out to the, so you can go all the way back when you're outside. Oh, you can't film, film vehicle. Yeah, that, I thought about it actually. Like, <laughs> also check this out, Matt. On the digital dash here, the middle screen, when you mm -hmm. use your turn signals, it's got this like blind view monitor and it pulls up a live camera feed. That is cool. And then the left side, it shows that. That's actually really, really handy. In addition, you have blind spot warning in the actual mirrors itself, but 
That is really, really cool. Okay, Matt just found something that I didn't know. We have... Pass it's called Passenger, passenger View, it's called. Right passenger here. View, so you can check out... Obviously, it's for like if you have kids in the back, but... Mm -hmm. Holy crap, that's really cool. That is That's cool. a live feed. Hi. And then I... <laughs> That's kind of cool. I do like the weather on the side too. Oh, that is. Oh, that's cash. really handy. And then today. These are really cool too. Now, is that why you're driving? Or is this just while you're sitting? I don't know. Here, hold the camera. We can try it. That's the round view camera. You can hear it. He's <laughs> playing the waves while driving. Yep. All right, we're going to head to the office with. We're going to be on the, the sound beach. Of ocean waves, yeah. Seagulls! So we do have different drive modes, which I haven't played with yet. So we'll press that button. Eco, sport, smart, normal. All right, let's see what sport mode is like in a minivan. This is a 290 horsepower V6 with an eight-speed automatic transmission, front-wheel drive only. The Kia Carnival only comes in front-wheel drive. No all-wheel drive, no force induction, and no hybrid system available right now. So, you, feeling my, hot, you feeling hot? Why is my seat heater on? Uh -huh. I, did you, you did, do that? You didn't notice, did you? My butt's warm now. It's like 80 degrees out today. <laughs> I do like the toggle switch though. Yeah, so you got cooled and heated. Mm -hmm. And also heated stick. And you can do it to your driver and not even know. Yeah. We've got the carnival badge here in this cool cursive script. You press the button here and the lift gate will open up for you. And again, we've got the third roll there folded down. Let's see, I think we pull this. I'm trying to do this one-handed while holding a camera. Oh gosh. And then... Hold on, hold on. So you hear that beeping? This thing has this like automatic, this is really difficult with one hand. So watch your head. Have me here. Yes. It's got automatic lift gate closing. See, watch, we haven't touched anything. And it's gonna start closing on its own, I think. The beeping has intensified. Yep. And it just starts going. <laughs> so there's a button here. It seems like the default is, it will close on its own and you see A off with a little symbol here. So like automatic lift gate off. But in default form, when you open it, it's like timed and will close, which I can see being really handy if you've got like your hands full of groceries or something. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. Thank you for folding the seats. That's really spacious. Will an Eddie fit? Let's try. Cargo test with me. Eddie fits. <laughs> oh, bye, Eddie. Wait, no. <laughs> we have a full. 115 volt, 100 watt power outlet here. The 12 volt, 180 watt. So we got power points here. Nifty. That does not look like salmon. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. That's not. Comment down below. Does that look like salmon? It looks like Tuscan lumber. I think that's what it's Tuscan. called. That's the name of it. <laughs> Tuscan lumber. This is very clearly <laughs> Tuscan lumber. No, it's got that salmon color. It's that's like brown, bro. We also have the Bose sound system, like Matt was I'll mentioning. I'll be in the minority, it's fine. It's salmon. <laughs> the Bose is only available on the top tier trim, the SX Prestige. I am 99.9% .9 certain that's accurate. If I is factually inaccurate, there will likely be a disclaimer in this part of the video. And we can close the back doors here. Ta-da! So, here's something that the Kia Carnival and a Rolls-Royce Phantom share in common. The ability to close and open doors with the push of a button. <laughs> That's actually accurate. I know it is. That's why it's also funny. <laughs> the front seat is where I have it usually at six foot three. Now in the second row, we've got plenty of leg room. You can also use this toggle from the seat left and right. So this is like all the way to the outboard it side. It doesn't lock though that I know of. Yeah, it does. Oh, it did? Okay. Yeah, it didn't it lock for me yesterday. That's just user error. Yeah, that's fine. I'm Your a child. Degree is revoked. I'm a child, uh, so it's fine. Front and back. I can't, oh, that's not comfortable anymore, but all the way back, you can't go all the way back because it hits the little out thing there. So that's why you go inboard and then you go all the way back. So there are heated and cooled seats, which I can't reach now because I'm so far back. <laughs> and then we have the privacy shield so no one can see me watch Baby Shark. <laughs> <laughs> On both sides, we got that. And then we've got charging ports in Alex's foot. And my feet, don't touch that. <laughs> 12 volt USB. And then we got, whoa, that's definitely good on camera. 
I was testing the handling capabilities of the Kia Carnival. Yeah, okay. This thing will pull. What was your racing line? 0.87 g's on a skid pad. This on the little sheet, it says 0.87 g's on the skid pad. He had a poor waist wow. racing line. Poor racing line. <laughs> I'm gonna, so don't make me go back so, there. So don't make me come back there. Climate control. Which, <laughs> are we there yet? We are simulating are we a there yet? Yet? experience. <laughs> I don't like it. I want ice cream. Are we there yet? I got you no, ice cream last night. night. <laughs> it's now raining pretty hard, so I'm not sure how much more filming I'll get done today. But remember how we are showing this earlier where it was uh, blue skies of clouds and green fields during the day? And it changes as we approach dusk and sunset. It's got this really cool sunset view. All the newer Kias have this on the full digital dash. It's a really cool touch. Luxurious and upscale and just unique. And that wraps up this video living with the all new Kia Carnival. I never expected to be this impressed by a minivan, but wow, this was very nice. Make sure you also check out the full in-depth technical review. Thanks for watching.